In our last video, we had created our layout. In this video, let's animate it. For that, let's first import animated from React Native. And whichever view we need to animate, we need to change that view into an animated view. So let's change our header view to an animated view. So let's just add animated dot view here. And for whatever reason, the outside one is also changing. Let's change that back to a view. Now we need to change the height of the header depending on the distance that the user has scrolled. So once the user scrolls up, we want the height of the header to reduce. For that, we'll monitor the on scroll prop of the scroll view. And to that, we'll attach an animated.event method. So in our scroll view, let's write on scroll is equal to, inside that we'll use animated.event to detect the vertical scroll event. And inside that, what we'll do is we'll say native event. What we're looking for is content offset on the y axis. And here we'll set in a value. Let's call that this dot state dot scroll y. And let's create that value here at the top. So we'll say constructor props. Inside that, we'll call super props. And we'll set the state here. So we'll say this dot state is equal to scroll y, which is a new animated dot value, which has a value of zero. Just to walk you through it again, we're basically using the default React Native syntax over here. We're getting the event, which is the scroll event on the Y axis. And we're setting a custom animated value over here. Depending on what value this is, when the user scrolls, we'll animate the header. So that initial value starts with zero. Now we'll set up the height of the header dynamically. So here inside the render method, let's create a constant called header height, which will be equal to this dot state dot scroll y. And we'll interpolate the value that the user has swiped to or scroll to, I should say. In that, we'll get an input range. We'll have an output range. So the input range requires a starting point, which is zero, and the distance to which the user is allowed to scroll. So the distance we want to allow the user to scroll is from the maximum height till the minimum height. So you want a difference of the header maximum height minus the header minimum height. During this distance, we will reduce the height of the header. So the output range accordingly will be when the user has not scrolled on the Y axis, the height will be the maximum height. And when the user starts scrolling, it will go towards the minimum height. It will never go below this minimum height that we mentioned here. Let's implement this and then you'll understand this better. So in our styles.header, let's change this height to the header height constant that we created. Let's save this out. If you test this out now, you'll notice that you're not getting the performance that you're expecting. That's because scroll view has this property called scroll event throttle, which is by default set to the lowest possible value of one, but we should set this to 16. The highest value makes sure that the performance is better, whereas the lowest value enables more accuracy. Once we save this out, we'll see that we're getting that experience. When we move up, we see that the header height is reducing. And if we leave it, it comes back to the height again. That's because we don't have any data here and the scroll view is limited. But there's one more problem. If we continue scrolling, it seems to overshoot the minimum height. For that, we can put in another property in the header height here called extrapolate and set that to clamp. By default, it'll try and extrapolate your animation outside this particular input range that you've given, but we don't want that. So let's save this and try it out. We'll see there, it stops at the minimum height and we scroll back down, it increases again. Obviously we don't want the header to be bouncing back to its position. So for that, let's just add an empty view over here inside the scroll view, which acts like it's taking up all the space so that we can scroll better. So we'll say style and just give it a height of 1000. You'll see if we go to the top, the header stays where it is. And if we come back down, the header comes back down. We obviously still need to work on the animation of the profile picture. 